as a divorce mediator for over 12 years, one of the most common situations that I encounter when working with a couple is an issue related to communication. It is often that communication either doesn't exist at all between the parties or that there is miscommunication about important things regarding their children. So as a mediator in trying to help these parties resolve their differences, I often suggest that they come up with a communication protocol. This is a protocol of how they're going to communicate with each other, what types of issues they're going to communicate about, the frequency with which they're going to communicate about these issues, and the method that they're going to use. I also suggest that they limit their communication to crisp communications. That means clear, respectful, informative, succinct, and professional communications with one another. Instead of name calling, placing blame, or talking about things that don't matter about the subject at hand. Using this crisp communication method often improves communication between parties and improves the, their co-parenting relationship with one another. Be sure to check out our link in bio to get examples of crisp communications that you can use with your co-parent to improve your co-parenting relationship.